guys, it's Lady Drink Pro, and we are not drinking. What is this? George T. Stag today. We're gonna drink Field Vodka from Chicago's Field Museum in collaboration with Journeyman. Chicago's Field Museum was started in the 1893 World's Fair, where all the botanicals and plants were exhibited, put into museum, and that's how the Natural History Museum was created. Now this is a really special vodka. It was made to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the museum. It was curated out of 1,500 different botanicals and plants using Bloody Butcher Corn, which is an heirloom variety that's been in the country since 1845. It's used in a lot of different whiskeys, but today it's a vodka and it's only made with Bloody Butcher corn. So Bloody Butcher corn, it's kind of a rare corn, especially today when all of heirloom varieties are becoming rarer and rarer. The easiest place to find it is in Appalachia, where there's over 1,500 different kinds of heirloom varieties, many of which are beans or corn or 663 varieties of apples. The Bloody Butcher corn for Journeyman's Distillery is only grown in Illinois to help celebrate the Field History Museum's history. Now, I don't know, I don't have a source for this, but I have read and heard that some people, specifically that grew up in Appalachia, will only eat cornbread made out of Bloody Butcher corn. It's known for being sweet and buttery, and today we're gonna try it for you. Now, he goes into very extensive tasting notes about all these smells. Well, vodka doesn't really have that much of a smell. It kinda just smells like alcohol. So, I'm not getting a lot. There's maybe a subtle hint of like a citrusy note, but other than that, pretty simple. But that's what you want out of a vodka. You don't want something that isn't a neutral spirit. So across the board, all vodkas are pretty neutral. They're gonna have a little subtle hints of here and there based on the botanicals that were used to make them. However, it's not gonna be a bourbon or a whiskey. All right, here we go. Wow, that's really good. It's buttery, it's sweet. There's a little tinge of lemon, but overall a neutral base for anything you'd want to make with it. Now, the Drink Pro makes really good martinis, and we'll come back to that later in another video. But these make a very unique martini. Herbaceous and sweet and buttery taste. I only drink vodka martinis, gin's not my thing but this makes a great Gibson martini. Gibson martinis are just a normal take of a vodka martini, but instead of olives, you use cocktail onions, which aren't for everyone, but it's a very old and traditional martini that I myself enjoy greatly. Here, just shake it out, just take a breath. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> The proportions of vodka to vermouth in most martinis varies greatly, but in traditional Gibsons, it's a four to one ratio. So four parts vodka, one part vermouth, and lots of little extra secrets in there. The drink pro won't tell me. What are you gonna do? If you want more of this content, please subscribe. If you enjoy, <laughs> what? <laughs> If you like this content, please subscribe. If you want to help us out, please think about supporting us on patreon.com slash thedrinkpro. Patreon? What? Huh? Oh! <laughs>